Okay. Thank, thank you, and, and thank you for yielding. Uh, respectfully, if my Republican colleagues want to talk about hypocrisy, they should look no further than their party's full embrace of Donald Trump. Mr. Trump had thousands of conflicts of interest, which the gentle lady mentioned some of them, but this is a, a report uh, that documents over 3,400 conflicts of interest. Uh, he promised a firewall between his business and his presidency, but he broke that promise and accumulated 3,400 conflicts of interest so far. The conflicts include visits to Trump properties by foreign government officials, taxpayers spending at Trump businesses, and Trump's own blatant promotion of his businesses. And this is, uh, goes into great detail. I ask unanimous consent to place it in the record. So done. I, I would say that President Biden and the Democrats are clear on our priorities, and we are delivering results for the American people. The lowering of cost of prescription drugs will help every American family. The Inflation Reduction Plan also capped the cost of insulin at $35 a month, saving lives, lowered the cost of health care, and combated climate change, investing in renewable in clean energy, and moving our, our country to electric cars, electro postal fleet that will get us off of fossil fuels, one of the biggest uh, polluting items in our climate. And tackling gun violence, particularly important to my, my city of New York. We passed the first uh, uh, gun violence protection, cracking down and making the trafficking in guns a felony. And, and uh, we, we also, let's, let's talk about a woman's right to choose, protecting women's uh, reproductive rights. I would say there's no democracy if women can't make decisions about their own health care. Yet the they, they Republicans want to come in, they must hate women. They not only want to take away a woman's right to make decisions about her own health care, including her own reproductive health care, they want to take the steps to ban uh, access to, uh, to, to birth control. It's been reported. Then they want to make, uh, they first talk about state rights, now they want to make a federal law a federal law limiting women's ability to make choices about their own health care. Uh, this is a hypocrisy at the greatest heights, and, and uh, I would take uh, the Democrats' priorities are helping American people, and they are led by our President Joe Biden. Uh, my time has expired, and I now uh, turn, oops, Representative Sessions has joined us. I now uh, recognize Representative Sessions.